to be honest, I am a professional. Um, I am a professional project manager, and that is what I do. I have my own small business as well as I do consultancy. So, in any situation like this, dealing with a situation whereby I'm voted out on grounds that are unconstitutional in particular, and I did nothing wrong, I, I have to speak out against it. It's it's not within my frame or my, or my own personal belief that I should just sit down and take this as is when I know I did nothing wrong. So I have to make a stand and say that the entire process for the voting, quote unquote, was unconstitutional and I'm still legally president of the Belize Athletic Association. However, means or whatever the press release are being sent out at this point in time, it's unconstitutional what happened on Sunday. There are steps and processes that you have disputes and how it's handled. However, those weren't, were vehemently opposed to and violated at the meeting on Sunday. Um, it got to the point whereby when they decided that it was going to be a vote, I stepped out. I cannot be a part of something that's unconstitutional and you're no longer following the rules. So with that being said, I did not participate in their vote on it. I mean, just the entire process was, <laughs> was mm -hmm. uh, uh, in shambles. So I won't touch base too much on it. Um, I'm currently doing my research as to how I'll handle the situation and see how best I can move forward it. But by no means I'm going to let my name be tarnished in something like this when all I've been doing is trying to better the association and better the sport for Belize. Is the public perhaps getting a view, an inside look as to a part of the reason why we're not seeing certain disciplines advance in Belize? Things are so bureaucratic. Things tend to be so political at times. And do you lament this? Paul, you're hitting the nail on the head. I mean, I'm sure you've seen this based on your experience whereby you wonder why development isn't happening. But it's just because when you have like-minded individuals that are trying to come and make real change and real development, then you have those that resist the change. And instead of trying to see beyond what is right in front of their face and looking at the bigger picture, you, you have resistance. And that resistance got to the point whereby there's suddenly up, up an uprooted feeling of wanting to get rid of the president, 